back to Red Next Dirty Hands. I'm Pete. And today, the crew and I, Christina, Jim there, we got the shocker loaded up in the back of the raw dog. We're going to head up to Sudbury to do some radar running with a bunch of fellas that have some big turbo sleds. So we're going to see if the shocker can hold its own. I think it can, <laughs> but uh, we got a four hour drive ahead of us. We're not going to take the uh, trailer. We're just putting the sled in the back of the truck. Going to get up there, get a room for the night. And then tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, hopefully get some good speeds out of the sucker. So you is ready to make a road trip? <laughs> Sudbury quality in. There's a hockey tournament or something going on in town today, so there's like no rooms anywhere. But we were lucky enough to get one room over here. She's a bit of a gong show getting parked over here, but uh, you know, I don't know. We just got the sled in the back of the truck, and uh, I don't know what Sudbury's like. <laughs> is anybody gonna take it out of there, Jim? <laughs> Our plan is we're going to back it up right tight to the fence and then we got a secret security uh, tip, I think, uh, that'll deter people from taking the old shocker. <laughs> Just like that. She's a Polaris now. Nobody's going to want to steal that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we made it to Sudbury. We got some live entertainment and some drinks. There's a girl in the corner with a coat on Every single brass button done up to her chin And her eyes have closed and the whole room knows She's the kind of man she's been living with There's a television humming in the waiting room And a man inside is talking of a storm He stares at the tiles trying to keep her feet quiet And she can't keep them still anymore She's got her hair done up on the sidewalk she don't want nobody knowing who she is. And I see her eyes wandering to the TV in the corner, wondering when all this rain is supposed to end. Three, sorry, four. Unless you really want one. I Billy's literally sitting down with yo mama. <laughs> Good job, Jim. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. Marty's giving me a corona right now. Thank you, Marty. Bump up the jam. We're going to be Tommy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, and thanks to our buddy Remington. That cover worked. Sled's still in the back of the truck. <laughs> now we got to shake our hangover and get to the lake. We got some boys to beat. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. Well, we made it. We had a we had a good night, but uh, hopefully we're gonna have a good day today too. You gonna get her unloaded there, Jim? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I just gotta go back to bed. Yeah, stupid beer. <laughs> you ready, baby? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fellows are already out here out on the lake. Hopefully, we can go later. Spike it down. She got her running. She fired up. Didn't think it was gonna. It's pretty cold out, but uh, a little bit of propane in the intake. The race fuel doesn't like to start when she's cold, but uh, you put a little propane in there. Let's get her going. So let's make our way out to the track. And, uh, get out there, I guess. All right, Jim, you ride her out. We'll walk out. <laughs> Oh, we got a lot. This is a Sea of Blue SRX. 
SRX, SRX, Sidewinder. We got all the fellas out here. Oh, there's our buddy Andy. <laughs> I think Turtle Tom is here. <laughs> He's hard to miss. Might as well just give her a squeeze right out of the trailer, eh, Jim? Yes, we will. Well, hey, if you don't, you won't. <laughs> a hungover squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> no better way. Hair of the dog or <laughs> horsepower of the sled. Here goes Josh on Greg's sled nightmare. That Apex is 500 plus horsepower. She's a beast. <laughs> did a half track 150. <laughs> Bucket, pull up your bootstraps. <laughs> Tommy said he just did a 141 and he was bopping and farting and got out of it. So hopefully he can hold her. She runs crisp, smooth, clean, and we get above a 141 here. Alright, Jim. <laughs> Swapping out, Kurt brought a ready to go clutch. <laughs> Try it on the shocker. Change the RPM a little bit. We think the belt is slipping, so we're here to try some different things, meet some new people, right? <laughs> you can't leave home without all our stuff. <laughs> we're rednecks, so we gotta have crap all over everybody's lawn. <laughs> as long as you remember to put it on the sled. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying, we're mixed match, and we got. Clutches from Kurt, clutches from me, clutches from Jim. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, how did you guys find it? Right now it spins quite a bit. Yeah. We think we were slipping the belt there a little bit. So we've made a few tweaks. Okay. Clutches, a little more fuel. We'll see. Modification of the seat. <laughs> it's all in the seat, right? <laughs> you just going to give her a go? Oh yeah, that's a nice smooth engagement there. Give her a squeeze down the track and see what she does. That's way better. Holy fuck, that thing's got lots of poop, eh? That's way better. That looked, a that looked a lot better. Yeah. That was a better run. Oh. <laughs> Did you stop at the gun? 145 to 9200 2. RPM. 92. Way well, too much. Oh, that's not too much. That's where the big turbo guys run, right? That's where it took off like a fucking scared rabbit. Our buddy Josh is going to let her dangle. Got a fresh set of jaws, pipes on her.
Somebody's gonna give her a squeeze. <laughs> Hopefully. Bad. <laughs> Rub up for luck. <laughs> you wanted 48, you we wanted 148, but we're getting close. <laughs> Not bad, 146. Well, yeah, I had a hiccup at the beginning yeah. there. Probably the belt too tight, maybe. Maybe. We're hitting the rev limit, I think. Yeah. About five times. Check your, uh, see what your RPMs were. For the shocker. What was that, Travis? 150.7. 150.7. Turtle Tommy. Yeah, those Perfect. ones we take pictures of. <laughs> get over here. Get over there, get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Do I get a hug? <laughs> I'm going to show you the father Tom. <laughs> Nice one. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. <laughs> all right, so we got to cut back to the shop here for a minute. Uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties with the microphones out there on the lake, but you know what? 150.7. We officially beat our uh, good old buddy Turtle Tommy there. He said 150.6 was, the, we hit the 150.4 and we're like in your face. We hit the 150 and he's like, Nuh-uh, you gotta hit the point six. Yep. So for us to hit 150.7.1 mile an hour faster than the record he had with Twisted, unfortunately, they didn't have Twisted up there that day, which uh, a little but, scared. Little scared, maybe, but uh, yeah. <laughs> congratulations, buddy. Cheers to that. Cheers. 150.7. We finally beat Turtle Tommy now. I think we're going to have to be faster next year because guaranteed he ain't going to stand for that. Oh, yeah. He'll uh, have something over 160. So. They'll be bringing Twisted out again next <laughs> year for sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> we were out on the lake for a lot longer that day. I had these uh, the wireless mics here. You know, they've been working great and all that, but we had them on that day and uh, they must have went dead or something because I got a bunch of clips of the sleds going by and zero audio. But... Uh, there was a ton of great guys up there. It was our, my first time ever meeting up with the Sudbury fellas. I don't know about you. I've met up with some of them before when they used to have the MBSSR speed yeah. runs in North Bay, but yeah. first time in Sudbury, yeah. It's a shame that they don't do the North Bay speed runs again because that is it a blast is, yeah. being out there on the lake, you know, doing the speed runs with all those fast guys. And it's a great group of fellas, you know. It's my first time, you know, like we were hanging out with our buddy Kurt uh, King, King's Customs there. His cousin Travis was up there with the big turbo fast sled running pump gas. It was doing pretty good. Yeah, I think he got a 144. 144, something like 145, that. something like that. And yeah. then... Uh, Kurt sled there. He goes right from drag oh. racing set up to radar run. He says he's not a radar runner. I think he's got some identity issues because mm. he nailed a 145 stock turbo in the quarter mile and a 149. He was going to do a full pull. I said, all right, just don't hit a 150.8. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But he's damn close to her. I mean, he, his sled is rocking. It's working great. You know, man. King's Customs, Kurt King there, you know, a lot of the fellas that are up his way, he's out Blind Riverway, I think. If you want your sled tuned up and to be rocking and rolling, give him a call. Mm -hmm. But uh, Travis is working good. Uh, is Derek McChesney? Yep. You know, great fella. His sled was rocking out there too. 145, I think he was getting. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Well, that was start, and that's a big turbo trail yeah. sled. Though. Trail sled, yeah. yeah. Trail set yeah. up. Pump gas. Uh, Andy. Andy was having fight some issues there. His was 133 yeah. or 135. Yeah. Uh, your buddy Jeff uh, on that Arctic Cat, he was hitting 135. Yep. The XF. 
the two fastest sleds of the day, like we were number three, I think. I think so, yeah. 150.7. And then it was Carrie Lewis had a uh, a big turbo Thundercat up there, I think it was, wasn't it? Yep. I think, what did it, 152 in the quarter? 152 in the quarter, which is smoke. And that's at the beginning of the video when the guy on the T-Cat takes off and was like, yeah, that thing was on a pass. It was hauling, 152, yeah. you know, which we're not far off of that. And he had the nice little skinny speed track and everything on there. So yeah. we might have to make some tweaks to the shock or lighten her up a exactly. little bit. <laughs> and then, of course, our buddy Greg, uh, he had that uh, nightmare of the apex. That thing is absolutely oh, wild beautiful sled beautiful. like josh literally rolled in half track yeah. and then pinned her and got a 150 and here we are squeezing her from the beginning <laughs> 150 like jesus yeah so i think you know talk to my buddy rob there and i think the next build's gonna have a four cylinder in her <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat the sound of the apex all the fast guys like the the baines brothers there with the hypersports mm -hmm. uh a thousand foot, two hundred mile an hour. That's a four cylinder. That ain't no three cylinder. So, you know, one fifty. Yeah. We're only fifty mile an hour away <laughs> from two hundred, Jim. Oh, only <laughs> <laughs> fifty mile an hour and probably hundred grand. <laughs> yeah. We can all have dreams. So, uh, you know what? A shout out to Tom for uh, acknowledging the fact <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Turtle Tom. Thanks, Turtle Tommy. But uh, you know what? We'd love to hang out with the guys from Sudbury again anytime. You know. Met up with a gym. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't go anywhere without me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everybody's a gym, right? Gyms everywhere. Yeah, the good thing about those guys up in Sudbury is they are out there every single week and they got the track. That lake is like, it holds ice forever. Like there was still 18 inches of ice out there. And I mean, everything around yeah. here is wide open. The truck was out plowing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, <laughs> wow. they're, they're about as nutty as squirrel turns as we are <laughs> driving a truck out there yeah. well we skip open water at 150 they go out on a pond when it's march and springtime you know yeah. but uh yeah we'd definitely go up there and hang out with those fellas again it was a great time you know we might have mm -hmm. to rethink the scenario of how we do it though maybe we go up friday <laughs> night go out radar run on saturday no drinking friday night no and then we party <laughs> after the radar saturday runs. night yes and then drive home sunday yeah. so uh, we'll do that next year, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking Lounge 390. That's a rocking spot. And that oh. fella, Maxwell, uh, Jose, great musician. So I think what we'll do is, because I got no audio on those clips, maybe I'll throw a little bit of a montage of uh, some of those sleds doing the passes because they were some impressive passes and whatnot. It's just yeah, it these, uh, you know, technology, these mics weren't really working when we were out there. So. And we'll dub some music over top of it and uh, rock and roll. So enjoy. Well, Jim, I think that kind of concludes our snowmobile season, at least on the ice anyway. So yeah. there has been some talk about asphalt running. We got quite a few fellas reaching out to us. Mark the wild man there that we met out at uh, St. Thomas is offering up some uh, bits and pieces to mm -hmm. get us out there. Arnie and Ralph, Arnie's Cat House, they want to get us out running with them, you know, and I do have a couple of Articats that we could uh, doctor up. And then even Rob Lowe, you know, he, uh, 
he's impressed with you know loving how we're running running the sled and you know getting some numbers out of the shocker there so uh he's offered you know maybe we tag along go up to uh michigan film some races or participate <laughs> so I don't know. might be a fun summer so we got to actually sit down maybe have a few of these and think and decide i still got to finish the build on your mama mm -hmm. so we're gonna be busy doing that we have to figure out the issue with mine get rid of your speed wobble that, that was scary in that 150.7 run rob had a good point i was talking to him the other night and he was saying maybe we got to uh, change the uh, toe on our skis because we got a lot of ski pressure at those speeds and whatnot and we uh, we did lower it down and sack it out so it might yeah. be towing those skis in too hard with that kind of speed so we might mm -hmm. have to tow them out a little bit he's thinking and then uh, we won't be able to test that theory this season i think we're yeah. pretty much done with that so that'll be a next year venture yeah. maybe put a narrow track on it see if we can there's always going to be the quest to go faster you know what we oh, hit yeah. we hit one like we're doing pretty good you were just cresting 140 last year yep and now we've hit 140 and we've hit 150 so next year let's go 160 170. yeah <laughs> sounds good to me uh, you know we'll have your mama with the two stroke uh, 700 srx turbo triple hopefully if i can keep going on that and it works out so uh, we got a lot of projects on the go we might have to be building an asphalt sled here soon mm -hmm. who knows we're definitely gonna have some help i think uh, to get us out there so which is great if you guys want to see us go asphalt race and leave a comment you know let us know what you think of that and then uh, you know, we have fun doing this. We're having a blast, you know, get meeting great people, getting out and having some good times, you know. <laughs> and I just wanted to thank my brother from another mother, <laughs> Pete. Without you, the shocker would not be doing 150.7. So I appreciate all your help with that. And oh. hopefully next year we'll be a lot faster too. Absolutely. No problem there. I mean, we always had the friendly rivalry, you know, you were always faster and then I'd build something and then I yeah. finally beat you out. And then it's like, all right, well, with the rivalry with Tommy, I love the competitive nature of it all, you know, and Tom's a great guy to go back and forth with. Right. So oh, and it yeah. gives you that, you need that benchmark, that you do. push, right? Yeah. So, you know what? There's no reason for me to go any faster with your mama. It's kind of maxed out. So, you know what? The shocker's the fast one. Let's make Billy the fast guy. You know, <laughs> I love helping out and doing it. And uh, we strive. It gives you that drive to get more. So, yeah, for sure. You know, I'm having a blast doing it. And I appreciate all the help you're doing trying to get all this done, too, brother. This yeah, we're having a blast doing the channel. We're just over 25,000 subscribers. You know, it's taken off. It's doing good. We enjoy doing this. You know, hopefully we can just keep making the content and you guys, uh, you know, hang out with us, leave a comment, share the videos. You know, we enjoy doing it and we're having a blast. So, as always, take her easy and cheers. Cheers.